Yo, what's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a second video today. Super dope showing you guys the new gift cards to friends method. You can get personal aircrafts from friends, you can get special vehicles from the warehouse from friends, and any car that's not blacklisted, okay? Non-blacklisted vehicles. So basically anything that Rockstar hasn't forced us not to have. All right, so founders of this glitch are Lost Glitches. I know he posted it, and there's a few other people. I can't remember exactly who, but I will try to link everybody down in the description. If I missed you, just let me know, and, you know, I'll simply add you, all right? I got no problem adding founders. Not trying to jib anybody out of credit, all right? So uh, I posted another video earlier today, a solo money glitch. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. I'll have the link at the end of the video. Now, for this glitch, what you're going to need is you need a full facility. You want to fill it up with Fagios or RH8s. Make sure it's full, all right, because we're going to be replacing over those vehicles. And if you're, um, obviously, you need a friend. He's got to have a personal aircraft, a personal vehicle, or a special vehicle to give you, okay? So if you're getting special vehicles, I recommend you have a, you don't have that vehicle yet. It will make it much easier. If you're getting personal aircrafts, I recommend that your hangar is full, all right? And you need to fill it up with, like, Pegasus vehicles, like Buzzards or Hydras, anything like that. And if you're using this as a money glitch to get, say, Retros or Benny's vehicles from a friend, make sure that it's a Benny's vehicle, like an LG Retro Custom, and the custom plate on it is the exact custom plate you have in your iFruit. You both need the same custom plate in your iFruit if you're using this as a money glitch, okay? So, I got everything out of the way. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to go over a lot more stuff, too. But So, you get a streetcar. My friend has a retro he's giving me right there with the same custom plate. He's just parked it, you know, close to the yellow circle. I'm going to go ahead and get the full alert. Dashboard open, dashboard closed. You guys know the drill. And open up your interaction menu and park right here where you see me. Now, wait a few seconds. You want that alert to have time to load up. So, now, simply drive and then hit B or circle right before you drive off. If you get the facility full alert, go ahead and accept it. If you're off the platform like that, you did it good. Now, the first time you do this glitch, what's gonna happen is you'll get kicked out of the vehicle. That's all good, it happens every time the first time. So go ahead and go back to the yellow circle, get the full alert, open dashboard, close it, and you guys, you guys know this, all right? Open up the interaction menu and now get in position once again, all right? Name of the game is we're closing the interaction menu right before we drive off the platform. So right before those back wheels come off, you press B or circle. Now, if you're going too fast, you might not get it. If you just miss the timing and you decline or you close the interaction menu too late, you won't get it. All right. So just keep trying this. You'll eventually hit it. Trust me. See, I'm showing you a full take right here on how long it took me. I recommend getting a little sports car that you find out in the street, like a like the Sultan will work really well. Um, but yeah, you want it to have a little bit of speed. So go ahead. And I think I do get it right here on this attempt. So I'm driving hit B or circle. There we go. I know I'm off that platform. I'm going to accept that alert. Do not get out of the vehicle. Just go ahead and drive and just go straight back to the facility and you'll see you'll get sucked in just like that. Okay, so that's that is what you want to do. Now, the good thing is if you're just getting cars, okay, if your friend is just giving you, say, modded cars or retros or whatever, and this is great as a money glitch too, as long as you guys have the same custom plate in your iFruit, that's a very, very important thing. But if you're doing this to get any sort of, you know, cars from your friends, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, right here, when you get in that vehicle selection menu, press B and then accept the alert, okay? So that's circle and then accept the alert, all right? So now what you wanna do is go ahead and exit the facility. My friend told me the car is in place close to the yellow circle. I'm spamming Y or triangle right now while I'm on the black screen. Just keep spamming it right now. Spam, spam. All right, so you see my guy's walking towards the car that I'm getting from my friend. You can hear it in the background. He's gonna get in and he's gonna start the vehicle all behind this alert, okay? Once I'm sure I'm in the vehicle and the vehicle is started, the engine's on, I'm going to go ahead and accept the alert and check it out. I can drive right back into the facility. Just like that, guys. So just like this, I've already gotten one vehicle from my friend. And I'm going to show you how to just keep rinsing and repeating this. Super, super simple, okay? Like I was saying before, right now you want to go ahead and replace over a vehicle you don't care about, like the Sanchez. So I replaced over it and boom, I have a dupe. My friend is sitting outside. His car just spawned somewhere else, so he's going to go get his car. He's going to put it back in position by the yellow circle. Okay, it doesn't have to be crazy close. Just make sure it's not too far. So he's he's getting it back in position. He's going to let me know when it's there. He's going to get out of it. He's going to say you're good. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the facility one more, or, you know, again. Right when I get the black screen, I'm spamming Y or triangle right now to get into that vehicle. Okay, so I'm spamming it. 
So there we go, it's right there. I got the alert coming up in the background. I'm just waiting to hear myself get into the vehicle and get it started up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and accept this alert. So I've accepted the alert, just like that, drive back to the yellow circle, and boom. Look at that, guys. I've just gotten two vehicles just like that. So like I said, you can keep rinsing and repeating. Obviously, as a money glitch, it's quicker because that car is just going to be there the whole time. He just has to put it back in position. But if you're getting modded cars, same thing. Just stay in here until your friend pulls out another modded car. All right? So now I can go ahead and replace over another vehicle, replacing over that Sanchez. Boom. I got myself another dupe. All right? Now, my friend is over there. He's going to let me know the vehicle is in position. Once the vehicle is in position, I can go ahead and exit the facility and once again spam Y when I get to the black screen. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Black screen is going to come up here. I'm going to start spamming Y or triangle on PlayStation. Just keep spamming it until you get outside. So we're spamming, spamming. We're just still doing it. All right. Now you can go ahead and stop spamming because you guys are already walking towards the car. All right. So he's going to get in. He's going to start the vehicle. Once the vehicle started, I can accept this alert. I've accepted the alert. I'm going to drive right back in and boom, three dupes right there, guys. This can't get any freaking easier. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say is you can only rinse and repeat like this, like super quick. Just get glitched out once and keep doing this over and over again with cars. Okay. Personal vehicles that are cars. All right. So modded cars, retros, whatever. All right. Only cars you can rinse and repeat just like this. Now, the next thing we're going to get into are personal aircrafts and special vehicles. Okay, I know a lot of people are trying to collect those. So, there you have to change up some stuff to be able to do that and then save them. So, I'm just getting this retro here saved. I'm just going to replace over one of these bikes that I don't care about. And there we go. It's saved in there. Remember, when you drive these out, they're bricks. So, you got you to gotta restart game or switch to your second character and then back to your first. All right, to be able to access these vehicles. And then you can sell them or you can keep them, whatever you want to do. Just make sure as if it's a money glitch, you got the same custom plate. All right. So, now in this next take, what we're going to be doing is my friend's giving me a personal aircraft of his. See this buzzard right here? That is a pure white buzzard from his hangar, okay? That's his personal aircraft. He's going to park it right there close to the yellow circle, and we're going to do something very similar basically, just like the it's basically the same glitch that we were doing before. But here's the thing, when you're getting special vehicles or aircrafts, you can't rinse and repeat. You cannot rinse and repeat, okay guys? I mean, you can do the, you, you just have to do the streetcar glitch over again is what I mean, okay? You just can't be waiting in the facility for him to put another one in position again, and then you do the glitch again. It doesn't work that way. You have to get re-glitched out with the streetcar every time you want to get a new plane or special vehicle, or you know, or aircraft, personal aircraft, you guys know what I mean. So. I'm going to go ahead and get a streetcar and I'm going to get re-glitched out. This Jeep works good. The Sultan works good. There's even a smaller little sedan that works good. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get the fuller right here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Xbox dashboard and then close it. Now I'm going to open up my interaction menu and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing we were doing before, guys. And look how fast I hit it. I've gotten pretty good at this timing, all right? So I'm going to back up to around here. You don't need to peel out. I was just doing that. Now I'm waiting for that alert to kind of load up in the background. Close the interaction menu right before you drive off. Accept that alert. And there we go. I'm all glitched out. So I can go ahead and drive right back and I'm going to get sucked right into the facility. Now, if you're getting a personal aircraft, before you do all this, make sure you call up Pegasus and you just get a bunch of buzzers or hydras and you fill up your hangar. You want your hangar to be completely filled up, okay? Just fill up your hangar 100% to where you're getting an alert every time you try to drive in a new uh, aircraft in there. So we're in here. I'm going to go ahead and press B or circle and then accept that alert. So we're denying the replacement and then accepting the alert. I know the buzzard is right there ready to go for me. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and just exit the facility and start spamming Y or triangle. Okay. Simple as that. Start spamming Y or triangle. So I'm spamming right now. Uh, my guy is walking towards that buzzard, that personal aircraft that is my friends. And once I'm sure that I'm in there and the vehicle is started, the engine is going, I can simply go ahead and accept this alert. But I wanted to make sure I wanted to wait. So there we go. I know for sure we're good. I accepted the alert. You can't just drive it in like the cars. It doesn't work that way. So what you have to do, and this is for aircrafts and special vehicles from the warehouse, you have to park it on top of the facility. It doesn't really matter where. I was just trying to get it as close to the middle as possible, but this will work. So just park it right on top of the facility and go ahead and run back towards the yellow circle and just walk in. Okay? Just like that. You want to just simply walk in. You don't have to... Um, you know, you don't have to drive this in there. It won't get, the vehicle won't get sucked in like that. But your friend will see it actually disappear. When he's out there looking at that aircraft, it will disappear. Don't worry. He still has his. It just dupes it. All right. 
So now I got the vehicle selection menu. I'm going to replace over that Sanchez and check it out. I have a personal aircraft, his buzzard right here inside of my facility. All right. So now at this point to be able to save these in your hangar and stuff. Okay. You obviously before, you know, before being able to access these vehicles, you need to either close your app and restart it or switch to your second character and then come back to your first. And then you have access to all these vehicles and they won't be bricked anymore. Now, remember for the personal aircraft, I was saying your hangar needs to be full, okay? This is so that you don't get ghost spots. Now what you would be doing is you would actually grab the buzzard and you would drive it over or fly it over to your hangar that is full, it must be full, and then once you've done that, you can go ahead and replace over one of those Pegasus vehicles that are in there, okay? Doing it this way will go ahead and ensure that you're not getting ghost spots, all right? If you're getting ghost if you get ghost spots that's because you're just flying the the buzzard into the facility or into your hangar into a regular empty spot you need to be replacing over one of those aircrafts in your hangar okay now for special vehicles like the ruiner the wastelander you know the rocket voltec you would do this method and then once that vehicle is inside of your facility all you have to do for that to go into its natural position inside the warehouse is go to creator and then go to another invite only session then once again, go to creator and then an invite only session. Once you're spawned in that second session, that special vehicle would go in its natural position inside the special vehicle warehouse. If you, and that's only if you didn't have one before, like say for example, I was getting a ruiner, I would do all that. But if I didn't have a ruiner before I was doing that, it would just slide right into its natural spot. If you do have, you know, that special vehicle that you're trying to get, cause say you want a modded one, but you bought a regular one before, you're going to have to do a few more steps to get that one out or to swap it. So I'll leave a link to that in the description in the pin comment as well. So I hope that was all the information, you know, that you guys needed for this. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're brand new by pressing that big red button, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out.